watching me used to have so much fun at school. Sometimes on special occasions, birthdays, Christmas, Tuesday, he would pull out all the stops and flush my head down the toilet. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness. My best friend Owen was also popular with Bob. To be honest with you, I was a little jealous. OK, so I was getting my head rammed down bogs, but Owen... Owen was getting special treatment. Let's put it this way. I wish I'd been tied up with Andrex. <laughs> the laughs we used to have together were legend. And no one could ever accuse Bob of being selfish. Then one day, our relationship came to a sudden end. Come on, you... Bob, or Bob the Potential Psychopath, as we fondly named him, was expelled. Is that Andrex? Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. School just wasn't the same without them. <laughs> we tried to go on, but Owen just didn't have the upper body strength needed to hang me from a tree. And there was always someone using the toilet. How were we going to fill the void left in our lives now that Bob was gone? He needed to be damaged. Shine, Jesus, shine. Then one day... It blaze, set our hearts on fire. While you were at primary school, you set fire at the Charlie Babcock's coat. Yeah, I did, yeah. While you were still wearing it? Yeah. As you know, we're looking for someone to take over Bob's role, a school bully. My question to you, Mavis Trundle, is what skills and experiences do you have to bring to the job? Well, in my first year school, I was very good about spreading gossip about people I didn't like and won a certificate for being a cow. I am passionate about making boys cry and if offered the position of school bully, I promise to steal your lunch money, convince your friends your parents live in a skip and flush it on the toilet every Wednesday after double geography. What are you waiting for, Dave? Punch him in the head. Steal his socks, throw them in a hedge. Do something! Look. Owen likes being punched in the head. The poor kid can't sleep at night until he's been beaten black and blue and had his socks removed. Makes him feel wanted. I know, but he looks a bit scared. He's supposed to look scared. That's the point. You're not very committed, are you? At this rate, we're never going to find a new Bob. My hobbies include a wet towel whipping, stealing lunch boxes, swearing at teachers, uh, disrupting lessons, and generally stripping away the self-confidence of those weaker than myself. Oh, and, and rug weaving. You... Uh, what does that say? You stink. Oh, OK. But Owen doesn't stink. He smells quite nice. All right, Guardy. Wow. The role of a bully is to destroy people's lives through the continuous use of rumour spreading, mental abuse and physical torture. The moment said victims feel isolated, blame themselves what is happening to them, start skipping school and suffers from depression and or other stress-related illnesses. Then, and only then, has a bully completed his 
or her duty. Excellent answer. Thank you. So have I got the job? Why not? You're, You're a girl. girl. As you know, only one of you can become the new school bully. So, in order to sort the wheat from the chaff, we have devised a little challenge to test your mental disposition and stamina. Owen. The challenge. Okay. All you've got to do is run as fast as you can into that brick wall. The first person to get back on their feet will go through to the next round of interviews. Subject to a CAT scan. <clears throat> oh, go on then! No one's getting up, Rodri. Amateurs! I'm surrounded by amateurs! So, what are the perks of the job? Well, the successful candidate will receive our weekly pocket money, a strong sense of power... Mm, that's real. Well, whatever they want, really. We're not going to argue. Rugby then. Yeah. Give me your money, please. Pathetic! I see more menace in a deck chip. If you've got a job that needs doing, you've got to do it yourself. Here we are. <clears throat> are you sure this is such a good idea? You're not scared, are you? Me? Scared? No. I'm petrified. Look, if we're going to do this properly, we're going to need professional help. So stop being a girl and come on. You're the one who needs professional help. We're a dying breed. Anger management has ruined everything. Kids like you need to be damaged. That's what I keep saying. So... You two want to be bullies? You're pulling my leg, right? I pulled someone's leg once. Nearly came off in my hand. We just want to know what makes a good bully. Bob Crutch was your bully, right? You know of Bob Crutch? Know of Bob Crutch? I taught that psychopath everything he knows. He was my best pupil. Can you teach me? I mean, can you teach us everything you taught Bob? What do I get out of it? Why is he going to be my socks? You've got yourself a teacher. Now, where did I put that roll of Andrex? Good in ages. Let's go to work.
I'm very sure. Well, I'm going on. Oh, him? We haven't got to bully anyone today, have we? I'm worn out. What are you, a girl? I am not a girl. Well, you sound like Gwen. You're a disgrace to this profession, you know that. Your heart's obviously not in it. So why don't you just get lost and go play games with your sad, pathetic friends? All right, I will. Owen! Oh, Owen, oh, oh, get back here now! Owen! Oh, Owen! Kids like you need to be damaged.